Hey YouTube, hey Champion Power Tech Services. Um, hey, this video is to uh, say how much we've appreciated our dual fuel propane uh, 7500 watt Champion generator purchased new about three years ago, not quite. Um, and it's been great. Uh, runs off a large propane tank 99% of the time. Every once in a while, a little gasoline. Um, and it uh, quit suddenly. We had one day of service, ran for 24 hours flawlessly, um, and it does have 170 hours on it overall or so. Um, anyhow, it ran great for the first day of the winter storm, mid-February, uh, the, the famous Texas ice storm, and then it quit suddenly. And there was just something that's turning it off. Um, it will start briefly run for two or three seconds on propane or gasoline. And I'm here to, uh, to show you the symptom. Okay, so you can tell. Thankfully, I had my super old gas champion, 4,000 watt, that main took over. It doesn't run enough circuits, though, so we kind of had to uh, play with our transfer switch a lot with that. So I want to get this one back online. Here's what it does. You set the choke. You turn on the main lighted switch there. Uh, start it up. It should start. And then when I turn the choke off, it's going to quit after about two seconds. <laughs> So this is extremely odd behavior. Um, I thought it was a low oil sensor, um, but I disconnected that, no change at all. And um, I know there's that little thing, that little valve down there, that the solenoid that can push up a plunger to cut off the fuel, but I'm pretty sure it's not doing that either. There must be something else in line here. Um, I did pull that off there briefly and plugged the hole in the bottom with my finger, and I watched that little pintle, and it, didn't, it stayed down. Apparently, the way it works is electromagnet sucks it down to allow running, and then upon power down, turning off that lighted switch, um, or possibly low oil sensor activation, that plunger will pop up and block off the main jet in there. But the entire time when it did that shutdown I just showed you, and I had this off, the pintle never moved. It always stayed down. So I'm a fair, pretty fair mechanic, uh, work on all my own cars and all kinds of small engine work, and I don't know what is shutting this thing down. Um, so anyways, I hope they can help me. Um, I would actually like to do a great full uh, you know, 10-minute review on this and how I make it work for our entire house. Um, but now it's kind of hard to do that if I can't make the thing run right. So Champion, I'm going to send you guys a link, and I've heard good things about your service. Um, I pray that you'd... Uh, Give me a little help here and point me in the right direction, and I'll get her fixed, okay? Thanks a lot, everybody. God bless, and take care.